the midnight ho Rocky Horror Midnight Show. <laughs> okay, I'll be very fast because I think people want to go home and uh, sleep and dream about the Egyptian Revolution. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so I will ask the first question is, um, how did uh, the idea, I mean, of obviously you're living in it, you're in the middle of it, but six years later, why you decided to make this film? Uh, first, thank you really to stay uh, <laughs> yeah. this late in New York. Yes, yeah, thank everybody's you really, very much. time yeah. is way past. I'm right? glad by this, and uh, for any filmmaker, um, uh, he wait some moments like this, that audience, uh, show the interest by by some signs like staying very late by saying good words and we all live by this yes. and um, I, I'm like every filmmaker who believe in uh, in freedom in and in beauty and I was always close to this activist uh, in the before 10 years before the revolution and uh, among my friends, Isra Abdel Fattah and Nawara Negm and many others. And uh, a good thing they are young and females and enthusiastic. And it's a long, long uh, fight to achieve this freedom from, uh, the, from the 70s. And uh, when in, in the beginning of the year 2000, when Kifay have been born, Things have have been taken another dimension, more concrete, and uh, these people have to be really. Uh, we we have to say to them thank you because they are the first to uh, to face all kind of harsh pressure from Warak regime. Any fight for freedom is not easy, yeah. and the There's people in the, to yeah, the people in yeah. the lead. They, and I was always interested, the blogging have been very interesting to the Egyptian, and I was observing how the bloggers and blogging have changed uh, the Egyptian mind, especially the, the mind of the youth. And um, things have been developed, and uh, starting from uh, the boycott of uh, Ghazl al Mahal uh, workers in 2008, it becoming really hot. And uh, like every revolution, it should take time yeah. to, to, to make the ground available for the explosion, for the peop people explode in a moment that you cannot expect. Expect it, yeah. exactly. It and, builds up and builds up and what th was interesting about this film it was he's taking us back and he's showing us the whole build up yes uh, the build up maybe yes before that, before that but, exactly but very, because but on the can... news we saw what happened during the revolution we know that this is what happened the blogging and so on the facebook's and this and that the tweets and all that however we have no way of knowing what led to that yes. moment, and this yes, is what you right. showed us. And I, 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 starting from the year 2008, I was uh, socializing with all these bloggers, especially with Noara Negm, my, my dear friend, trying to make a feature film about the blogging and the political role of the, of the bloggers and people who frequent the internet. But one year after our trial a revolution have happened, then I decided to make not about the blogger, but it's about the role of the social media and this blogger on the making of the revolution. Yeah, and for me also, uh, as, as, as someone interested in analyzing and in academic part also, I see that the Egyptian uh, cinema have a long history, 100 years history, but she she have a very few films that talks about the political moment. Yes, totally. It's all 
Bollywood style entertainment, a lot of it. Which is, yeah. not Which bad is fine. Because it's a yeah. Part of the part of yes, the part success. of the culture, part yeah. of the. But, yeah. but you know, so, uh, the revolution of uh, of Saturn of uh, 19th, 19th, and, uh, and forty-eight uh, war on Palestine, yeah. and and even the revolution of, of fifty-two. Every every important moment, cinema presented. In a very narrow margin, very yes. few. There are ways. rare movies like Nasser and historical moments like that. But you're right; it's not a um, activist yes. film. Oh, yeah. oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. There is some some very few films, and yeah. I analyzed I analyzed why this happened, and I discovered that when when the moment have passed. Nobody think about made, ma making a film about it. That mean, nobody now think about making a film about the revolution of 2011. Because many things happen after, and many other things on the going. And the good thing that I, that I produce my film from, from, from 2007, I try to produce it, then I, uh, some time with European Fund, it's, I have my own investment, and we send films to TV station, and we reinvest in another film. This film, we succeed to have uh, a competition of script with the Minister of Culture, who, which my film was among the five fa finalists. Then he got a, 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 some some money from yeah. the Minister of Culture. They don't have to do with the subject because who judges the scripts? Are intellectual and yeah. Yes, yeah. It's not a morphine right. or officer. Yeah. But I'm happy that I, I really uh, memorized a very important and noble moment uh, on the life of, of my people, of my country, and I am glad it's, it's that a I, very I did it. Important document. Yeah, even though it, it's a, a feature, a narrative feature, but you've done it in such an authentic way. And also because it's based on a true story, yes. it's as though it was a documentary and depicting the real situation. Yeah, we, call, it, we called it in Arabic drama to this mean yeah. uh, this mean you dramatize the facts, yes. but yeah. you, it is not a documentary and this is not pure drama. It's exactly. it's a drama based and on the acting. I mean, of course, there is the Egyptian actors are so good. They are really. You know, giving us the yes, you are moment. Yes. <laughs> you are good actors as well. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, so and all, all your family. <laughs> oh yes. A piece of on, uh, um, on our friend. Our uh, friend Vania, yes. Who but is the reason why this festival exists? Yeah, yeah. She gives you the power, and I'm yeah. really glad to see that there's a prize and award with her name and. We'll yeah. write an article about this. Thank you. We still have to do the article. No, no, no. We'll write both. <laughs> Don't worry. And, and let's see. Maybe uh, they yeah, want to uh, ask uh, questions, please, even though please, they're please, yeah. Yeah, past their bedtimes, but they can still ask questions. <laughs> so any questions from the audience? Yes? Oh, should I take a mic? Or? Yeah, oh, you have a, uh, your voice is very loud, don't, don't worry. <laughs> you can, and you can, we can repeat it after you, so. Right, well, first of all, I want to say that um, I, I grew up in Egypt. I spent seven years there when I was from junior high through high school. So Egypt will always have a special place in my heart. That's been about, I won't say how long, but a while ago. Wow, he spent seven years in Egypt, and Egypt has a very special part special in his... Special place in my heart. Will wow. But my, my question was... Um, in other countries such as China and uh, North Korea, we see a very strict uh, controlling of the internet via their governments. Yeah. And so I'm wondering why Egypt didn't take those same, uh, you know, same uh, precautions against people on Facebook and that sort of thing. Was it that they didn't take it seriously, or it was too late, or how, why didn't they try to control the internet to pre to prevent people from utilizing it for revolution? Yeah, the please question. Don't, don't remind them, please. The question. The question <laughs> is: uh, in certain countries, like in China and other countries, uh, when uh, people are censoring, they really control the internet, and sometimes they just not allow certain sites to be accessible. So the question is: how come Egypt didn't do that? And were they no, not aware, or did, was it too no, late, no, or they, what? No, they have another strategy because they. 
Egypt is a, China is a very exceptional model. Uh, China and uh, Iran and they control the internet. They, maybe the Saudi Arabia also. Uh, but in Egypt, uh, they they control the account of the people they are uh, afraid from. They don't have to to ban it from all the country because there is a lot of bullshit and a lot of. They don't have to ban it. They just focus on some people they know it, uh, or or. Uh, any time they, uh, they will hear about someone who is causing uh, such uh, anything against their will, they, they, it's very easy for them. Not, maybe not they, use it as a, they use it as a tool, maybe. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah in the like time of Mubarak, they were so, yeah. so smart. Like you see in the film, they didn't believe even that it was the possible, power of yeah. the internet. Now, when the revolution happened, uh, have been made because of the internet, things yeah. have been different. But you know, every regime tried to protect, even here in the United States, everywhere tried to protect itself. You know, art, art work on, uh, didn't only tell about the secrets or the mechanism of the power against the humanity or the tyranny against the search for freedom. But but one of the, in my vision of the cinema, I, I even have a, a project of film here in the United States, search about the human condition. How the human being try to find his place on life, to find love or success or freedom against all things who, who are against him, even the, the health condition, sometimes he is not, uh, we are all in a search. And the good thing in cinema, that it can present this search for beauty, for power, for freedom, for success, yes. in, and the ways to achieve this. The we'll take one quick question because we have to clear by midnight and I, I just... I, I, will, I will shorten everything. because yeah. Ah, yeah. I deserve some time. Yes, I know. For coming. <laughs> for coming all the way. Yeah. But we can still go into the mezzanine and continue. In fact, I want to still yeah, no, do an interview not, with you. Yes, okay. So, any more? Qu yes, one there's more question. Three. There is three. There is three. Sorry, I don't know who you're pointing to. Is it me or back there? Mm -hmm. Ladies yeah, first. Okay. So, I, I'm Egyptian. I left the year before the revolution. Um, and my question is, with Abdel Fattah Sisi, what we see now is some things have changed. However, we still see the, um, the brutality, like with uh, Muhammad Fahmi, or was it Muhammad Fahmi, is that his name? Who was in the um, And the Italian student recently, and many more like them, uh, either reporters or, why do you think the regime has not changed that policy yet? And do you think that if they don't change it, it will cause another uh, uprising or problem, or do you think that it would, what do you think will happen with that? Because no, that I, I tell you, I do cinema, not to emphasize this kind, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I can, you can see that I'm not someone who is afraid. Yes. But the good thing that I do cinema, doing politicism, you have to confront any, any regime, not only this one, or actually, or, but I do cinema, and you will see in my next film, my position and my vision uh, to what's happening now. Uh, but, uh, but I don't, uh, replying this will make me in, in uh, um, what you can see, in uh, direct confrontation with something I can tell it through cinema. Wait my, my next move. Okay. Yes, in the back, yeah. Elements of nature, like the gardens and flowers and rain and yeah, sand of course, storm, yeah. as your canvas to kind of as the, you use nature as your yeah, canvas of course, yeah. to try to build the natural momentum of the revolution. So, how could you speak to us as a filmmaker? As how did you perceive the nature of this story of the revolution? Yeah. Actually, because uh, we all uh, we all call the the revolution as a spring, and I am in a moment on my life where I see the universe in total uh, connection. When you see the, the, the Revenant film, who who is the big winner of the Oscar, 
you will see his connection with animals and with nature. I think one of the things that makes the success of this movie, this combination, this vision of the universe, not because he is a survivor. Many, say, many people say this film has deserved Orpha because he is a survivor. It has been told in, no, this vision. And I am in a moment in my life, I see life like this. We are in a total balance and total connection with trees, animals, earth, everything. And the revolution was part of that nature? Yeah, the revolution is a human, a big human act of collective act, and I am a, a fan of collective act. Because when someone makes a decision, good decision, we say, wow. When people make a big decision, imagine it. It's like, uh, it's really amazing, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it really Yes, in the back. Wow, the last question, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I beg you, I want to return back. <laughs> I just saw one shot about social, Excuse me, I didn't, I didn't understand. This, uh, the, the, the rest of the shots of the movie are, are not related to, to, the, to the revolution at all. Which one? I mean, most of the movie is not connected to the revolution. It's just talking like, it's like a romantic movie, like the screen. It's okay, why not? Yeah, no, I'm not talking about this. I'm, I'm just talking about uh, why didn't you didn't do a realistic movie like yeah, it's more realistic. Yes, every filmmaker has have yeah. a yeah. vision. Yeah, I understand your question. Yeah, you know, everyone, every art is about freedom. My freedom to do a movie, and your freedom to love it or to reject it. And one of the things, I, I tell you, one of the things that make people uh, uh, start to do movies that they didn't like other movies and do, would want to do their version of reality. So, I, <laughs> without any real, I, I encourage you to do your version. <laughs> really, really, no problem. <laughs> no, 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 it's my freedom well, and your freedom not to like to it. become one. Hmm? He says, I'm not a director, so I'm saying no, no, it's why not every, too late to become I teach, one. I teach that every, everyone could be a director with the cell phone now and software. No, I'm not uh, mocking this. Excuse me, I'm really sorry. But uh, it's my vision of, of reality. Yeah. And it's why it has been, uh, some, many people around the world love it, and many others didn't. To be, to be. Yeah. Yeah. No, his point of view, I, can I say something about, because he's pointing about the fact that in the beginning there's the torture and all that, and it's very important. It's a very integral part of the story that yeah. you are telling. And in, in reality, I had a bit of mixed feelings with that because this festival is an anti-violence festival yes. and we don't show violence and all that. But what kind of violence? We don't show gratuitous violence. We don't show violence that is just there for the sake of making a point or also just because they think violence sells. Well, in this case, it was very to the point, and it was done with a lot of balance. It was exactly the right amount. It shocked, it informed, it is finished. but at the same time, that's it. Let's go on now and tell you the story. Yeah. Yes. So true. that's and, very and important. I will continue. I see, from my point of view, the film is very realistic, and it show, uh, I will reply, and it show a lot of real moments, but it is focused on some people. It didn't show. Uh, it didn't show many aspects of the revolution. It's a revolution through the eyes of these young people. 